Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. We are in the middle of a drought, which is fine. Water is fine. Everything's fine. And um, things going well. Uh, tree logs are doing well, which is nice. Um, everything does appear to be working pretty well. Now, I did want to start this episode off with loads of explosions. Kaboomies, mega, mega things on there. I booked some more houses and uh, dotted a few more things in here because we needed more people. So we now have potential for 144 beavers. It's, yeah. Um, however, there are no explosives. There's one, one explosive in there. One explosive in there. And why is one explosive in there? Well, they're all out here. Um, so yeah, but I really hope to get like the multiple layers done and, and, and it didn't, it didn't go in there. So yeah, however, there is something you may notice that I did not know, and I did go and check the patch notes and I couldn't see it. You can run roads underneath explosives. Look, you can run roads underneath explosives, so your beavers can now use this road to reach around. And I just, I was like, what? What, you don't have to remove, like, I, I removed these explosives here to put the path in, and then as I put the path in, it let me draw the path straight to the end. I'm like, oh, what, wait, what is this? You can just build roads underneath explosives, so. That's cool. That's a really cool thing because there's no longer having to go 10, put the explosives in, delete the path, go 10, put the explosives in because you can only reach 10 tiles. So. so let's remove this one. Let's put in an explosive here. Let's make this the most high priority one, but I don't think you'll get built in this one soon. Um, and then we're going to explodify some of these things here. So I need to blow up. Ah, that's why I left that there because this is not going to be the high enough height for it. Yeah, nope. <laughs> oh, whatever. We'll we'll get to it later. It's fine. Uh, I'm blowing this up because we want to have the bad tide come down here. Um, so I need to get this down. I need to raise this up, and I need to get this down over here to the correct height so that we can start putting in the furnace. It doesn't have to be completely empty. That I just did. I should have probably just figured out like the little channel, just built, blown the channel up, and then we could have blown around it later. But well, we all like explosions, don't we? So um, let's do it. Let's do it. Turn the thing off. The bit, bah, boom, press that button there. And I'm going to just do loads of them. So um, let's do that one, that one, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Well, it's lower it's not exactly how i wanted it because now we need to build up these places here but that's fine that's fine that's fine so let's take out these edges here pop 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 Bam. pop and there we go but oh, so we need to build that one which they can no longer get to and we need to put some explosives up here which is fine and we need to put some explosives up here so let's do uh, those there let's do uh these here and um Can I build up in between here anywhere and get... No, I can't. It's two away from each other. Every single place. No. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, so we go... Um, up two there. Up three there. And can we put a bridge in? I mean, we can. And they can get up here to do this. That, that, that would technically work. Because of how... Let's do that. Let's unlock a bridge. Do that. That will work. Because they can climb up inside there because this is a very unique custom tile. Um, and then they do this here. But I think we can get to this one here. From here. Yeah. We can put those in. And a couple there as well. And we just need to do that one as well. Which uh, is almost ready, but not quite. So let's just put a staircase in uh, there. But they can reach up to that and do that. So that'd be cool. Okay. Uh, and then we need to run this along here. And uh, can't do anything until this is blown up here, so we'll blow this up as well. And everything will be awesome. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So that's and that's the height we're gonna be. We need to fill this ground in here, so I need to get some excavators going. So let's do that as well. Where can we get an excavator going? Um Well anywhere really. Uh we could put it over here. 
plug it into the side of the back of one of those and just dig out the back of this. It wouldn't really matter where we put it. To be honest with you, we could put it here. Um, I mean, we can't put it there. But then that would pour the bad water into our main base, so we probably don't want to do that. Uh, I think putting it behind is going to be the best option. So like here. And I want to raise it up a little bit. And then somehow get back there, which is not as easy as it looks because we don't have any way to get back there. Um, move this over. Where do we get more than one of these? Because I think this is struggling to get bad water. So we probably do we get a couple more of these in. So let's let's destroy this one. Whoa. Let's destroy this one. Let's get uh, some more, not fluid dumps, uh, deep water bad pump thing going. So one there, one there, one there. Let's do that. Yay. And uh, oop. And then we want to bridge over here and connect our thing to the back of this. So that and I think I'm just going to do that. Makes life easier for us. Oop. The path would go up here, along here, like that. And then we will put the dirt excavator in like that. No, we've got over one more. Yeah, we've got over one more. Um, why well, am I going to have one more? Because there, it won't dig out the entire path and it will leave the power running through these. Uh, it's going to dig out a little bit there, so we might have to put like a block in there, and that'll be it. So what we'll do is we'll unlock dirt, and we'll put a dirt block there. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay, and then we just need to put in a there, and then move this over, and we can get some dirt coming in. Awesome, and then we can fill this in here, the river in here. I don't want to fill it all the way up um like i want to we need to figure out where the um where the supports for this is going to go exactly i did start measuring along here as you can see um we got to back here and then obviously i need to dime my things out so so what i want to do is i want to make sure the first one is going to be 15 by 15 away from the corner and then it goes every 30 because um they can do 32 tiles so i'm going to do every 30 and it needs to be Gonna have to be four by four tile, I think. Because the map's 128. Um so if we if we did if we did uh, 15 plus 30, that's 45, then 75, then 105, then 135, so that wouldn't really work. Um Yeah, the end one becomes 23 away from the edge, so we... Yeah, so we need to do it... Nothing to do in range? What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, you are correct. You have nothing to do in range. So let's put in a... There and a bit there. Yeah, build those, and then you'll be able to... Uh... Yeah. Um... So what I want to do is I'm going to come out here. So this is 5, 10, 15. So this is 15 marked. So 15 and 16 is where it wants to be. And I want to go. So it wants to be here and the one to the right of it. So there. 5, 10, 15. So here. And here. So it wants to be. There. Now, I don't want to do a two by two pull because that will, um, I was going to say evaporate, but e evaporate faster. So we're going to do a four by four pull like this. Um, and then because we don't need to actually have towers uh, pouring down, um, we will be able to have the water pour over into it. And the actual water, water will be, the aqueduct will be here. So that will come along here. And we'll have to have a little bit come out which pours into this one and then one here and then one here and then the bits come out that way now this 
is kind of in line with where the aqueduct for the bad water is going to go. So, I need to check something. I need to figure out. Just looking at it, they look like they're the same height. I don't know. There is, I can't get the mod that gives me the actual heights for the game anymore. So, so let's see. So, based on the district center. So, how high is that? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven. Uh, so, ten. Nine, eight. So they're at height eight. Is that right? Yes, they're at height eight. Also, both of these are built, so we've got the kind of so they're at height eight above district center. Okay. Where is the main water sources? Uh oh, let's turn these back on again, shall we? Get some more water coming in. Uh so this is all the same height down here. So one, two, three, four, five. Six is this height here. Seven's the top of these, which is this here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to the top of here. And that's two like that. So that's ten. So that means the aqueduct is actually going to be on top of the bad water right front. Now we can lower one down, do one, do whatever, but I'm kind of hoping the bad water would be above that. Um, we can raise it up as well. We could obviously seal this around it and make it like a little reservoir and make it taller. Um, and then have the, uh, the bad water come along. Because if this is in line with our water after that, when we want to have a good water offset here, which pours left into that one and comes down and pours that. But if the bad water, if the good water is above the bad water, that means the good water when we build the aqueduct. So, um, let me re-explain this, hold on. So the aqueduct is going to be this height, all the way along. And then the bad water aqueduct will be below it. It'll be two tiles below it. So when the aqueduct starts here, comes all the way along to here, it will have a little bit off shooting from it. So this the main aqueduct will be here. It'll be between that, but I think all the way along there. A bit come off here, and that will pour down into here so I pull from the height yeah, down into a little pool below and we'll keep the pool full from the aqueduct above which will be fine however we then need to go this way with it as well so we have to go this way because this way this is going to need a little pool here it's going to be a little pool here it's going to be a little pool here but if the aqueduct the good water aqueduct is above the bad water one then that means that when we try and pour water this way into the pool that will be here or wherever it'll be down here um we'll pour into the into the bad water aqueduct we don't want to do that we want to pour below it so i need to lower this good water aqueduct sort of i want to make it deeper we want to store more um things that also that's really stupid <laughs> that's not that's not gonna work is it let's do that that's two tiles high. i don't know what don't know what i was thinking there don't know what i was thinking there but anyway um so if we make this deeper make it like um two or three tiles deep we'll store more water in it so it will not just become an aqueduct it'll become like a floating reservoir it'll become a, a, a an aqueduct that is three four five tiles deep stores loads of water in it and then we have like the overflow at the end just be right at the top so it's got four deep and however long this is um, of water and then the water can seep out along the edges on mini aqueducts that are lower because it's so deep and because we can do sluices now at the bottom of the water so we can always have the sluice uh, come off the main one lower because it'll be deeper than this one and this one will sit on top of it going along and then pour not even pour into the main, main reservoir I don't think I'll even have it pour into the main reservoir Although we could have it pour into the reservoir and just make sure the sluices don't let anything go back. Um, don't let the bad water go back. But I don't think we'll do that. I think we're, we're going to have the main reservoir with water in it. And we'll still have an overflow here. So this will still seal off and the bad water will go away on the end here. And just get rid of it. So this will always be a good water. And then the bad water reservoir will come away along. And maybe even pour from back this side. So they cross over here and then that's our power source and then the big one's just a giant reservoir a aqueduct reservoir 
four or five or six deep. Um, how how tall is that? So, uh, um, that is that's five deep there. So if we went five, six, seven, so that's seven there, um, or six deep. Made it six deep. So we put the uh, aqueduct in here, and then the bottom of the aqueduct would be here, where this river is here. We've still got. Uh, one two three four five six seven we've still got seven tiles between the bottom of the aqueduct and the ground underneath it we only really need three tiles to be honest with you um for beavers to get underneath and do things so that and that'll work i think that'll work so it's gonna be quite wide it's gonna be like eight tiles wide and six deep and the entire length of the map minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be 120 by eight by six. 120 times eight times six. That means it's going to store 5,760 blocks of water. Does not mean 5,760 of these um, because I don't think it works that way. I think with one block of water will fill up more than this here. I don't know how you'd even test that. I don't know how you could test one block of water because of the evaporation thing, so. I suppose technically you could get four pumps in a four blocks, one by four, and figure out how, how much water it takes out of it. Yeah, there's, 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 there's ways to do that, so. But anyway, let's um have another explosion, shall we? I love it just blows the path up. I, 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 I think that is fantastic. I think that is such a fantastic addition that I didn't see in the patch notes. I, I genuinely have gone back and looked and tried to find it, but I haven't seen it but i haven't looked like I, I've, I've looked through the patch notes but i haven't read every single line of the patch notes so um uh, yeah um and i don't even know if that was an update that came in the latest update or whether it's something else but that is awesome i like the input paths in that's really really cool e done job done and you're full of dirt cool you have nowhere to store dirt that's fine um let's fill this up we need to fill this up uh, sort of all, almost all the way um, so what I want to do is start here uh, gotta do this no there oh, oh, no. can I build on top no it won't build on top of the path so that's okay they're my measurement tools anyway Boop. and then the next one Boop. 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 Oop, and then that's it. That's it. That's the river deep. It's only two deep. Oh wow. Okay. And then we're going to put in like a thing in the centre um, for um, wherever our crop's going to go. We have to measure it and figure it out exactly. Or where our aqueduct support is going to be because they need to be every five. So, uh, so I'd have to do that here. And there might be a, a, a pool somewhere here as well that we need to take into account um so yeah okay so i'm gonna build another um let's just do this doop doop and then we'll there and do that can you reach all of that um it doesn't show me because it's not built yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, from that path, you should be able to reach all of that. Okie dokie. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so Beaver's got a lot to do, a lot to sort out, a lot to figure out. Um, I might adjust this slightly to make it look a little bit better. Like, um, we'll have this is still still here, but we'll have it like come out and have a little bit on this side and a little bit on the other side um, to make it. So when the bad tide comes along, it pulls a bit out of this side and a bit out of that side, rather than just one side. Um, that way we can make it a bit narrower as well. Um, so that'd be cool. And then it would have just this this block of dirt here. We could also replace it and actually put an entire aqueduct in and still have the thing on top doing that. So that's entirely possible. Or we could cheat completely and put the sluices right up against the edge of the uh, water sources. And then apparently if you set them to close when the bad tide comes along, it just stops any bad water coming out completely it just stops them i don't really want to do that but i'm not 
super opposed to not doing it if it means I can literally just have one, like a two thick wall of water, uh, of uh, dirt on the end here. And that's it. So, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to let uh, these do their thing. Uh, they have managed to go up here. They can go up here and build across. This is awesome. Uh, so this is fine. Hopefully we get more stuff going here. We've got bad water in here going on. I think the, um, the issue we had was the, the uh, essentially just having to run full whack because I've got so many pods now for beavers. So, yeah. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. What I do need is a bit more water storage. It would probably help us, I'm honest with you. Um, a little bit more water storage wouldn't go amiss because we got... We've got enough for it, but 144 beat. Let's let's do a quick calculation. 144 times they drink three water a day. It's 432 times 144. Uh, sorry, times um, 14. We need 6,000 water stored, and we a cap currently have four and a half thousand water stored. So we need two more of these guys. Okay. We're doing fine because we don't normally get 40 days, and we're not up to 144 beats either. So yeah. All to those. Oops, so we keep the land green here. Um, food is not a problem at all. Trees are a little bit of a problem. So I was tempted to get rid of the core rabbit here and put uh, more oak trees in over here. And then maybe like change something over here to be core rabbits because we have full of cassavas. So, um, but um, I think I might do that. I think we might. Um, would you just stop planting that over there? Don't plant over there anymore. Um, harvest stuff, get everything you need. Uh, that's cassava. Why is that cassava? That's weird. But harvest all these. The most time we'll plant oak trees over here, and then we can have two lots of oak trees coming in because I'm a little concerned. Uh, these are almost done, but when we start building the aqueduct, we are desperately going to need more storage, more trees, more everything. So, yeah, we'll get the aqueduct done too. Need to get rid of this. Need to get rid of this here. Need to get rid of this here. Um, Probably need more metal storage or more metal producers because we don't have that much metal coming in. Scrap there, we've got a couple of metal blocks there. So, what do these plank things require? They require 90 metal blocks. Yeah, we're probably going to need more smelters, actually. Which means we are desperately going to need more power. So, shall we add another? Yeah, let's do that. Let's add another, um, another water wheel. Uh, let's get a large tank going as well. Ooh, a couple of large tanks going, shall we? Uh, two. Where are we get two going? Okay. And you are going to be water, and you are going to be water. Awesome. Uh, let's get another guy in here. Now, I didn't plan this very well. Um, I didn't think we'd need a third wheel, a fourth wheel. Um, it looks like we're going to have to have a fourth wheel. Uh, so that's going to sit in there. I need to run the power along and to it, which is a little bit awkward, but not impossible to do. So I have to recalculate some things here. Um, so let's put you there. Let's put a water wheel in here. Um, let's do... Let's bring it down that and then we'll just destroy that and change this one Oop, to be a T-junction right. there we go and then I'll make this the lowest priority and I'll make this the highest priority um, so our beavers can still get through there uh, otherwise they'll get stuck so we do have unstuckify installed anyway, so it doesn't matter. If they get stuck, they will unstuckify themselves, so it's not a problem. Um, okay, so yeah, so we'll build that to get the power connected right to here. That'll be fine. We are still doing stuff. We need more explosives. If we don't have any explosives, that's fine. Um, we need to get up here and start harvesting these trees. Um, so let's try and figure out a way of doing that. And we need to get rid of the um, 
scrap over here as well. I might just have like massive scrap holes all around. This is what I really wish the iron teeth had an answer for the underground floorage. I know you can stack them like this, but the game doesn't have ladders by default, so you can't really stack them like this. Um, without without vertical ladders, it's very very difficult to stack things vertically. You have to use stairs to do it, and then if you want to go three high, you've got to build an elaborate staircase to do it. Not elaborate, but you know, me and staircases. So, um, so yeah. It's complicated, complicated. So let's do that. And you can get rid of all the trees in this area here. And then we start harvesting the scrap as well. And then we know this, these four tiles here are, are um, where our first one needs to go. So I'm gonna make it probably a, a, a four by four in there. And then the water can pour down into it. And that'd be fine. Cause then it's even between it. And then we go 30, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then we go here. It's actually 28 in between the two, but that's fine because that's just easier to measure. And then we come out and do the same here. So the big pool there. We've we'll got another 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So here, we have another pool here. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then here, there'll be another pool here. And that will not be enough to reach the edge of the map because 5, 10, 15 is as far as it goes. So maybe I do need to actually count 30 in between them. And then another one and 30 between them. So that would make them 32 apart from each other, which would be a good number because 32 would be uh, easy divisible by 128. Yeah. So maybe that won't be the exact place. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll figure out. I'll figure out the spacing and then we need to just dot these around on the map and have like a a dot point and everything will be fine so but that'll be in the next episode because well i need to let this run and this is going to take a long time to do the thing it's doing because we um yeah we need to get loads of um dirt to put down in here we need to get loads of um stuff there oh cool the dirt's got little scaffolding bits around it um so that's nice i like that oh that's cool that's cool. And the arrows on top. The arrows on top actually have wooden things. They're not just magic arrows anymore. The little wooden. That's cool. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We get a wheel built over here as well, which they now can't get to. Because they've decided to build this. Genius. Genius builders. Good job. Good job, those people. Even though it was uh, not the priority, you still chose to do it. I'm impressed. There we go. Now they can build it properly. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>